Merry Christmas, riders or not? Today on the vlog, it's Christmas. It's a Christmas special episode. I was thinking and considering for some time to do Christmas special or not to do Christmas special. And I decided that Christmas is special. So it doesn't need any special episode. For Christmas, I'll just do a normal episode. Right with me, my Harley. That's if a Harley will start. I charged my battery. And now guys, it's a fiddly, fiddly, fiddly thing to do. Even though I did it so many times. I need to connect it. But as well as connecting, as well as connecting the battery to the motorcycle, I'm connecting these two adapters. One for a quad lock USB mount and another one is for everything else. It's not original Harley battery and has those little spaces that has to go next to the battery to fill that space and it's very fiddly to do so. And once it's done, we're going for a ride. We're going for a ride, I'm not sure where we're going. It depends very much from the time of the daylight left. It has to be quite tight. And then cover it. And we connecting the negative, all the black things, which is so much easier because it's quite open. It's just over here. And it's only three attachments that goes on this. Here we go. And this bit. Now you can see how fiddly it is when you can't reach properly. This is so much easier, isn't it? And now let's just hope that everything is working. We have hardly key ready. Hello. And this goes in there. And let's try to put the bracket on. Fit everything in. Here we go, we have one and two. So this one is instead of the Harley original one, which stopped working for some reason. We have a mini tiny table toys. And the other one's quad lock. Let's charge my phone. The lesson I learned from Simon is don't tie your cable ties too tight. All the cables needs to be a little bit loose. They don't like to be attached too tight. Let them be a little bit loose.
now I have to think where to put all of this and I'm thinking to go back and maybe hide it in there and go on the other side so everything is nicely hidden and then I have USB over here oh that's perfect I'm gonna use that bracket get it inside just like so and have it inside this bracket so it's nice and hidden so Simon who hates USB connectors will never never know that it is here fiddly bolt and you can try to go for it. we can go for a Christmas ride. <laughs> the best part about Christmas are the empty roads because hardly anyone's driving. Everything is closed and you can have the roads for yourself. But it's getting dark. It's getting dark so well. So I hope so that I still have a little bit of daylight and a beautiful sunset to share with you guys. Maybe some Christmas lights. I'll speak with you on the bike. Hopefully we'll start. is fogging instantly as soon as I drop the speed. Also the clutch it definitely needs to uh, adjustment again because it is so at the tip and I can't feel it so well with the bulky gloves. But none of this matters <laughs> because I'm riding. I'm riding my Harley on Christmas. What could be better? Obviously many things could be better than this, but this is good enough. This is good enough way to celebrate Christmas.
very clean now they are not salty it's been raining a lot and it's been over 10 degrees most of the days so it's no salt left it's been it's been warm for a couple weeks now so it is it is suitable now to go for a ride it is a very good weather and very good roads to go for a winter ride and it is good for your bike bike it is good for your mental health and for you as well to just clear your head with a little ride get a little bit too cold but to have that enjoyment of riding a motorcycle especially if you haven't been on a bike for a long time that's maybe exactly that little thing that little Christmas miracle that you need for Christmas Talking about Christmas, the reason I don't like it, it's not the Christmas itself, it's just... For me, Christmas is very special time with the family and it was always related with religion as well. At the moment, I will not talk about the religion and, and my views about it and, and all the things related to Jesus Christ and Christianity but uh, my, my parents are Roman Catholics and since the little days Christmas used to be like this on a Christmas Eve that's when Lithuanians celebrated the most but it's not the actual celebration it's more of a time where you all the family meets and cook having a Christmas Eve dinner which was very special you have a lot of traditions a lot of kind of magical things as well you have 12 meals and you have to try each one of the 12 for good luck next year and all the 12 meals used to be not vegan because it's fish and vegan let's call it that way so you can't eat eggs you can't eat milk and you can't eat meat and that's that's the old tradition probably since vegan times or maybe it's a mixture of vegan and christianity but that's when you don't eat meat you don't eat milk you don't eat eggs and you can eat everything else that is left and you can't can't use alcohol either and then on the Christmas day you can eat everything but on the Christmas Eve it was that special evening with a very special traditional meals which was all over the country similar and th this year and every year my parents cook some of that stuff and send it to us the stuff that is not is not uh, getting rotten on the way <laughs> not getting molded on the way and so they make sure that we have the main things for our Christmas Eve and the things that we like the most and we always try I, I still try to do 12 12 meals not not I don't cook like my parents used to cook like very complicated stuff I do a few complicated things and then the rest I just count uh, so two mess as a meal it's a dish and then we try it all and then we used to go to the church and you we used to go to the church just before the midnight so when you leave the church you already can celebrate Christmas you already say Merry Christmas to everyone and you can eat whatever you want and drink if you want and that was that was very special that, that was I remember that like the snowy night and the church was always very
very cold and very uncomfortable and a lot of people in there and a very odd smell and you have to stand for a long time and then kneel for a long time. It was very, very strict. The churches in Lithuania are very strict. At least they used to be. And you come back after that and it, feels, it felt very special. So all those traditions, whether some parts I hated as a child and some parts I loved as a child. That was what was Christmas for me. And the last time I had amazing Christmas is when I went back to my parents. Because for me, Christmas was my home, my parents' home. And it still is in the way. And this is why I probably... it's. And this is probably why it's hard to, for me to feel that Christmas spirit here being far away from my home and not going back. about Christmas is that after 22nd of December the day is getting longer and even now the day is a little bit longer than it was on 22nd of December and that makes me happy because that means that we'll have more time for rise and we'll have more daylight time because I swear the last few weeks it felt like it never got light guys and a Christmas ride a Christmas special ride whatever you are Merry Christmas whether you celebrate it or not it doesn't matter it's just uh, an opportunity for me to you to it's just an opportunity for me to wish you happiness to wish you all the best to wish you good rides and all your dreams come true Thanks for riding with me and I'll see you on the next one.